Let's say a person is dying because the corporation from here is monopolizing jobs in their own country. What should they do? Will they come over here? Exactly. See, that's the right reasoning. Let me let me think of a better example. Oh, this time, let's say I made a living selling corn in Mexico, and then a gabacho company comes in and they start selling corn there. I get screwed, right? Yeah. So I'll go where the jobs are in order to try to survive. Well, well you don't need to worry. You got got papers. <laughs> Dude, my name is Salvador, not Sam. Do you actually think that a racist person knows whether I have papers or not? All this is my brown skin, they hear my accent, and they start to discriminate. It doesn't matter whether I have papers or not. I get discriminated just like you do. But you don't have to go through what we go through. And you don't have to worry about the pinch and uh, You know what? You're right on this one. I don't have to worry about the migrant, but you must know that I wasn't born here. The only real difference between you and I is that I always knew I was undocumented. Okay, I get it. Undocumented. There you go. Like I was telling you, I do know what it is to be afraid of the migrant. Man, I barely got my citizenship right after high school. I wish I had your luck. Dude, my luck? Just like you, I couldn't get my license at 16 or work at BK during the summer to buy me a car. I remember picking up Cabacanos at the hill, remember back then? I remember. Well, and you wanna know something? I'll never forget the struggle that my parents went through when they crossed the border. I'll never forget the struggle that I went through in high school. And most of all, I'll never forget the struggle that my people go through every single day just to be able to buy tortillas and frijoles for themselves and for their little kids. Yeah, but those things like cars have really changed you. Yeah, man. I could work on I'll give you that, but I had to go up. I remember you teaching out, um, teaching school and smoking out by the creek. You were yeah. the only senior that talked to me. That was cool, man. Yeah, man. I remember those times. It was fun, man. I give you that, but it's different now. I'm curious. No, so, so why did you talk to me during high school? <laughs> Dude, are you sure you want to know? Of course. Because your sister was hot, man. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, why are you pushing me, man? You are the one who asked me. And besides, we broke up a long time ago. I know you two would seem really happy together, so so why should you two break up? Well, what happened hey, was uh, Hey, girl, what's up? How hey, you doing? what's up? Nothing, no, not much. Hey, this is Anhead. I know him since high school. Oh, Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. You going to the meeting later? Of course, I'll be there. We're just catching up. Oh, uh, remember it's for the group I was telling you about. Okay. You were telling him about it? Yeah, of course. Well, you always got a group crew. Come on. You should definitely come. It's so much fun. We usually hang out until afterwards. Uh, I don't know. I might be busy. Okay. Well, 
Well, if you're not busy later, you should definitely stop by. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I gotta get going soon. Did you finish the agendas? Uh, you got me. Oh, when I forgot to bring the. Knew it. Again. I knew it. I knew it. Don't worry. Well, you still got about three hours till the meeting starts anyway, so you have some time. All right. I'll, as soon as I'm done with this, I'll go ahead and take care of them. Don't worry. Right. Got it. <laughs> I'll see you guys right. later. You nice meeting you. Nice meeting you, too. You have Asian people in the club here? Like I told you, man, you have to stop putting labels on people. Plus, she's not Asian. She's Pacific Islander. And in this place, we're all students. Uh, Kimberly helps us because she believes in social change and equality. Uh, and check it out, her grandfather was one of the first people involved in the farm workers movement, even way before Cesar Chavez, so you know she's got to have social justice in her blood. Still, we're seeing a uh, Pacific Islander and a Mexican movement. Dude, first of all, it's not Mexican, it's Mexicano. And second of all, this is not a Mexican movement. This is a student movement. Don't tell me you have white people in your club too. Of course, man. I thought you hated, hated the white man. No, man. I don't hate white people. I hate racist people. And that could even include Latino. Everybody in our club helps, helps us because they believe in social change and equality. Okay. That's cool. Dude, you know what? It's already kind of late, so I gotta. I still gotta take care of the agenda. So if you want, let's. Um, I could give you a ride home because I gotta take off now. That's cool. So just hurry up, man. We'll talk about.